This is a wood screw clamp. It's probably one of the more underused clamps in the wood shop, largely because it's more difficult to use. But to use it properly, we need to understand two main concepts, and that's surface area and leverage. The first important concept is surface area. The screw clamp has all the surface area that we need to utilize if we're going to get the most holding power out of our clamp. So if we clamp a board to the table like this with only this amount of surface area, the board can move. But if we utilize all of the clamp and all of its surface area, we'll have much greater holding power. The second important concept of the screw clamp is leverage. But in order to utilize this concept, setup of the clamp is important. We want to keep our clamp with the wood pieces parallel. This allows for a couple things. It allows us to open and close. We can just grab both handles and spin it. This allows us to quickly open and close the clamp. But it also, when it gets to clamping, is going to allow us to utilize the idea of leverage because we need to be clamping down the screw that's closest to the work first. And if it's not parallel to start with, that becomes very difficult. So we'll begin the clamping procedure with our wood parts parallel. Then we want to open up the front screw, slide the clamp over, close that front screw, and ensure that we make contact here closest to the screw first, and then there should be a gap at the point of the clamp. What this does is creates a leverage point, a pivot point right here. With our pivot point set, we've now created a lever. We can move the lever by opening and closing this back screw. The distance away from the pivot point increases the pressure. So if we had a bigger clamp with the screw out here, we could actually exert more pressure on the opposite end of the clamp. On the front end of the clamp, the greatest pressure is applied closest to the pivot point, closest to this middle screw. And then the pressure decreases the further we get from the pivot point. One very nice feature of the screw clamp is that I can be very intentional about where I apply pressure. In this case, I need to apply pressure more right here going down so I can close this gap. So what I do is leave a gap right here and only apply pressure. I'm opening up the back screw so it applies pressure right here and it closes up that gap. 